Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve linear inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let me give you a background about the difference between the linear inequalities and linear equation. So when it comes to linear equation, when we solve for x, like this one, there is a definite value for x. There is a single value for x. But when it comes to, sing to linear inequalities, there are so many or infinitely many number of possible solutions or possible values of x. So our target natin ngayon is to solve for that infinity or infinite number of values of x we have here for the given linear inequality. So we have here solve for x given these three inequalities. So sinet ko talaga na magkakaiba yung ating examples para may encounter na yun yung mga possible na may encounter nyo sa inyong quizzes or mga activities. Let's start with number one. In number one, we have 5x minus 4 is greater than 6. So how are we going to solve for this kind of inequality? We will simply use uh, API or addition property of inequality and the other one is the multiplication property of inequality so in this case first thing you need to do is to remove negative 4 in the given in the left side of the inequality so to remove this negative 4 we will use API so we will have 5x minus 4 plus 4 this is our way to remove negative 4. We will use the additive inverse of negative 4. So we have your 5x minus 4 plus 4 is greater than 6, but we also need to add up 4 to the other side of the inequality. So we have here plus 4. And simplifying this left side of the inequality, this will give us the answer of 5x is greater than 10. So after that, we need to remove 5 so that we can have the value of x. To remove 5, we will divide it by 5. Divide by 5. Cancel, cancel. Your x is greater than 2. So, what is the meaning of this? Ito na mismo yung inequality natin. So, ang ibig sabihin yan, when you read this one, x is greater than 2. Ang ibig sabihin nito, uh, the possible values of x are the numbers greater than 2. So, this is our answer. But, we can also represent our answer using um, set notation and set notation, interval notation, and graphical method. So for the set notation, at the magiging sagot natin for the set notation, x such that x is greater than two. Ganon kasi nito yung set notation ng x is greater than two. And sir, how about the interval notation? Let's go with the interval notation. For the interval notation, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis or bracket. But, kapag ganito, kapag greater than o kaya less than ang ginagamit nyo, or walang, walang bar sa ilalim ng symbol, gagamit lang natin ng parenthesis. So, for this kind of uh, solution, since we will start, uh, our critical point here is 2, Nagyan natin dito 2, and then we will use parenthesis because 2 is not included in our solution. Comma, as you can see, uh, stated in our solution, the possible values of x are greater than 2 and infinitely. Now, the numbers that are greater than 2. So, we will use positive infinity. For sa iba naman, we are simply using infinity lang without the positive sign because it is understood na positive yung ating infinity. Okay? So, Kapag gamagamit kayo ng infinity, parenthesis ang kanyang, ang kanyang partner. Okay? So lastly, we have the graph. Sir, so, how are we going to graph? Madali lang siya. Number line lang naman. Pero hindi mo kailangan gamamit ng sobrang daming, ano, sobrang daming numbers for the number line. Wait lang ha. Eh? I will create a straight line. And then, this is 2. Kahit lagay mo lang dito, um, 0, Tapos, you will start with 2. And then, since 2 is not included, we will use open circle. And then, since greater than 2, 
we will go to the right side of the number line. And here are the possible solution or representation of x is greater than 2 in set notation, interval notation, and graph. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, uh, some of you, hindi alam yung pagbabasa, pagbabasa nito. But, sir, paano ba binabasa to? You will start at the middle. As you can see, mayroon tayong dalawang, ano, dalawang inequality symbols. We will start at the middle. And it is read as 2x plus 3 greater than negative 3. Reverse mo to. If nakikita mo to bilang less than, basahin mo siya as greater than, greater than negative 3, but less than 15. Again, 2x plus 3 greater than negative 3 less than 15. So how are we going to solve this problem? Or solve for the value of x first, we need to eliminate 3. So what will happen? Copy 2x plus 3. And to eliminate 3, we need to subtract 3. So copy the symbols. And we have here negative 3. What you have done here is that you subtracted negative, you have, you have subtracted 3. So we subtract the 3. So this is negative 3 minus 3. And for this one, copy 15 then minus 3. And you will simplify this. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So you will have here 2x, which is greater than negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. Okay? And 15 minus 3 is 12. So this is greater less than 12. And we're not yet done because we are asked to solve for the value of x. So what will happen here? We need to eliminate 2. Same with this. We have eliminated 5 simply by dividing both sides of the inequality by 5. And now, since our target here is 2, we will eliminate this by dividing it by 2. All of this. Yeah. Cancel, cancel. What will remain here is x. Okay? And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Copy your symbol. And then, copy your symbol. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And this is now all the possible values of x. So let me read the solution. The solution here is x is greater than negative 3 but less than 6. So yung mga solution doon natin ay yung mga numbers na mas mataas kay negative 3 but negative 3 is not included pero less than 6. So we will represent that using sign, uh, set notation. So I will just use st as uh, sn, sorry, sn for the set notation. So we will have x such that x is greater than negative 3 but less than 6. Ito na mismo yung set notation natin. So how about the interval notation? As for the interval notation or in, ang gagawin mo dito, ito. Since meron tayong dalawang inequality symbol, we will start with negative 3 and 6. So, lagi mo ito negative 3, comma 6, and the critical values are not included. So, we will use parentheses and parentheses. Sir, how about the graph? Paano pin graph nito? As for the graph, madali lang din naman siya. Create a number line. Even though dalawang ilagay mo dito, you will put here, which is negative 3, sa left side. And here is negative, I'm ah, sorry, 6. Now, the solution is between these numbers. So, I think solution natin. We will use open circle, open circle. This one. This is the graph. So, why do you use the open circle? The reason behind that is that negative 3 and 6 are not included with the solutions or the possible values of x. Ganun lang simple. Now, let's continue. For this, meron tayong fraction. As you can see, we have x over 2 plus 4, which is greater than or equal to 5. Meron tayo greater than or equal to 5. So, possible na we will use a bracket and this one. Okay? So, to solve this, what you need to do is to multiply the whole equation or the whole inequality by 2. So, it will become x over 2 plus 4 is greater than 5 or equal to 5. Then, you will multiply it by 2. Using distributive property, 2 times
times x over 2, you can cancel out this one, and that will give you x. 2 times 4, that is 8. And greater than or equal, copy your symbol, multiply it by 2, 2 times 5 is 10. As you can see, my pattern is in So you have here now x plus 8, which is greater than or equal to 10. So we need here to solve for the solution of x. We need to eliminate positive 8. So what we will do is we will use the additive inverse. So we will have x plus 8 minus 8, which is greater than or equal to 10. And minus 8 in dito. And so it becomes 0. So you have here x is greater than or equal to 10 minus 8, which is equal to 2. And this is the solution for the values of x, which is 2 is greater than, sorry, x is greater than or equal to 2. So what does mean? The possible values of x are the numbers from 2, again, 2 is included, and up. Okay? So let's represent the numbers or the solution in set notation. For set notation, we have here x such that x is greater than or equal to 2. Ganun lang siya ka simple, guys. Let's continue. We have here in. Interval notation. As for the interval notation, um, we started with 2, ah, 2. So, and 2 is included. That's why I will use a bracket and 2. Tapos, di ba sabi, um, greater than 2. Ibig sabihin infinite, positive infinity, or infinity. Na. Sige, positive infinity tayo. Yan. And then, parenthesis. Ito yung kanyang interval notation. As for the graph, sa graph naman tayo, As for the graph, I will draw a number line. Simply number line lang. Yeah. And I will put here 2. And since meron tayong bar sa ilalim, or, and, or 2 is included, I will use a solid circle. Okay? And then, since positive infinity, or greater than, or equal to 2, yung ating direction is going to the Right. Okay? So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung discussion natin on how to solve linear inequalities or, in other words, finding for all the possible values of x. So, if you have any question or any topic that you want to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!